express f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 5 in the form a times x minus h squared plus k. Well, we'll start with the form we were asked to use, um, or sorry, which we were given. So that's f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 5. And uh, we'll use a process called completing the square to uh, to put it into this form. So uh, first step in that is to look at the first two terms and factor out the lead coefficient of the x squared term. So we'll factor out a negative 3. That leaves behind x squared plus 2x. I'm going to leave a little space before I use my close parenthesis because I'll need that in a minute. Outside I still have my minus 5. Now my next step is to complete the square of what's in the parentheses. So a perfect square trinomial is one um, that has the form x plus y squared, which is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So we're trying to work with something of this form so that it can be factored back as a perfect square. Uh, we have x squared plus 2x plus, well, there's a blank there, but we're going to fill that blank in with just the right thing to make a perfect square. Now, the way to do that is to take the coefficient of x, that's just, just the 2, um, divide it by 2, and square it. So that gives me 1 squared, which is 1, and that is the number that I'm going to add here. Now, if I've added 1 inside the parentheses, that effectively has uh, been well, when that's multiplied by negative 3, that's effectively added a negative 3 to the function f of x. By adding negative 3, we've changed the value, and so to correct that, we need to also subtract negative 3. Whatever we add here, when you take into account the number that you factored out, you need to adjust um, and compensate for that addition uh, through subtraction of the same thing. All right, let's simplify the next, uh, to obtain the next step negative 3. Um, it's true that if we factor this, by design, we get x plus 1 squared. That's why we chose the 1 in the first place. Um, and you can verify separately that x plus 1 times x plus 1 does actually give you what we um, said it should. Uh, it gives us the x squared plus 2x plus 1. You can multiply x times x and get x squared. x times 1 and another x times 1 gives me 2x and then 1 times 1 gives me 1. So that gives me back what was in the parentheses, and I've, I've uh, factored correctly. Outside the parentheses, I see that I have a subtraction of negative 3. 5 minus negative 3 is minus 2. And we've successfully completed the square to get our original function in the form a times x minus h squared plus k.